This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at how to calculate mass in grams from amount in moles. In a previous video, we looked at how to use this equation to calculate the amount in moles from mass in grams and molar mass. This equation can be rearranged to calculate mass in grams. So mass in grams equals amount in moles multiplied by molar mass. Here we have an easy way to remember this equation. Lowercase m, which is mass in grams, equals n, which is amount in moles, multiplied by uppercase m, which is molar mass. So next, we look at some examples. In our first example, we'll calculate the mass in grams of 0.6437 moles of calcium carbonate. The first step is to determine the molar mass of calcium carbonate. Here we have the relative atomic masses of calcium, carbon and oxygen. When we add these together, we get a molar mass of 100.09 grams per mole. Next, we'll use the equation mass in grams equals amount in moles multiplied by the molar mass. So the amount in moles is 0 0.6437 and the molar mass is 100.09 grams per mole. And this gives us a mass of 64.43 grams. In the next example, we'll calculate the mass in grams of 0 0.8539 moles of aluminium chloride. So we'll start by determining the molar mass. The relative atomic mass of aluminium is 26.98 and for chlorine it's 35.45. When we add these together, we get a molar mass of 133.33 grams per mole. Next, we multiply the amount in moles by the molar mass. And this gives us a mass of 113.9 grams. In the final example, we'll calculate the mass in grams of 1.379 moles of glucose, which is C6H12O6. To determine the molar mass, we have the relative atomic mass of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, which gives us a molar mass of 180.18 grams per mole. We then multiply the amount in moles by the molar mass, which gives us a mass of 248.5 grams. 